Okay, we have got a two year, three year. Not sure how long it's been since this fucker's been sitting. Uh, new battery cold start. Well, recharge battery. I'm a rain battery. See if it does anything. So this is a good investment, right? That I made? Is that a, is that a good investment? That's a Pug One Special, it is. Oh my goodness. Boys. That's a... Uh, that's not good. Should I get it fixed? Should I spend $1,600 on it? I already got 5000 into her. What's another two? Good time and form! Woo! Sounds like a place to be right there. I love me some good time tangles. Brought the Geo in, right? Got it right. They wanted fifteen hundred dollars after the after the certified vehicle inspection for uh, almost sixteen hundred for struts, and radiator, and air filter, and uh, uh, I think a valve valve gasket maybe in the engine and. Uh, leaky valve gasket and then whatever we had done to it which was I guess the alignment and some uh, suspension work or steering whatever I don't know, so tie rod stuff I don't know you know what 366 right then brought in the damn s10 that was 993 no no my suburban was 993 but in my suburban that was 993 then brought in the s10 that's gonna be fourteen hundred dollars because it needs new tires and a bunch of shit. It needed $2,700 worth of work. So I'm like, we ain't doing all that yet. I'll do the brakes myself. And I have them doing tires and a couple other things that need it. And then I still gotta come back in and have the wheel cylinders in the back done after I do front and back brakes. And, uh, and then potentially the front bearings, both of them done, but those might be okay after they fix the uh, center link and the idler arm. So they might have just been trying to get some extra money out of me since they're like, oh, this dude's dropping a grand at a, at a pop. So yeah, fuck it. There's been no maintenance done on that vehicle ever virtually. And since I took it back to my son and it's going to be my truck, fuck it. <laughs> right? Might as well do the work to it. So I don't know, the suburban steering feels like weird, right? Like, I don't know, like before there was a lot of play in it, right? Like you had a lot of movement and then nothing would happen. So now you move it and definitely stuff happens, right? It's, there's not play in it, but it feels like sloppy. Like, like, loose and sloppy. Not like loose and nimble. Like that Malibu was like a loose steering. Like it wasn't real tight, it was loose. But it was like nimble. Like, this feels like loose and sloppy. I don't know. I, I don't know how to explain it. I wish I was a mechanic and could explain it in better terms. But So I told him, like, I don't like what it's doing. 
But again, it's also got brand new damn tires on it and a brand new steering box. So maybe they just didn't do the steering box right before. You know, and I was driving with AT tires on it before and not highway tires. And so maybe it's just, this is how it's supposed to feel. I don't know. I'm debating whether dropping this back off or just trying to get used to it and see if I like it and try to get used to it. Maybe I'm just not used to it because the steering has been so dickered for so many years and my tires were all half treaded and uh, one of them bald and then the steering box was all dickered. So maybe it's fine now and uh, so I think I'm probably just going to have the S10 towed home which sucks because I'm probably going to have to wait up the fucking in Firestone for about two hours. But as uh, a matter of fact I should probably pull over and call and have them just fucking do that now meet me up there if I can get some signal. Okay, well, $1,374 later, I'm back in the Suburban. So we got $1,374 plus $993 plus $366. That's got to be $2,700. $2,733. $2,733. Still got to do all brakes front and back. I have not driven that fast home on the freeway in a very long time. I mean, this car doesn't even like to do fucking 80, much less 95, but I was booking at 95 most of the fucking way home. Oh my goodness. Poor little old fucking 97 Suburban just, just being pushed to its fucking limits. Holy shit. He got the Nissan, the boat, the fifth wheel trailer. He's selling the whole damn kit and caboodle he is. <laughs> 